I'm Ariana Kaiser, and you're watching Week Bite. Good news, folks! The recession's over! <laughs> so, uh, please, move your lazy ass out of that mildewed refrigerator box. You're embarrassing the rest of us. New York authorities have determined that the severed foot found in a recycling plant was not that of a human, but rather the paw of a bear. To avoid any future confusion, the authorities would like to remind the public that all severed animal parts go in the green bin and human parts go in the blue bin. Indian officials are handing out free radios to that country's so-called untouchables. Well, not handing so much as throwing. <laughs> Hello? They're untouchable. China has been hit by an outbreak of the bubonic plague, which, you know, seriously, is what you get when you live in a country that celebrates the year of the rat. An inmate is suing a Tennessee prison for losing his prosthetic leg. The man is suing for the value of the leg, $18,000, or its equivalent, six packs of smokes, a Playboy, a harmonica, and a package of Hostess cupcakes. A Wisconsin man's wife and three mistresses were arrested for tying the man up in a hotel room, blindfolding him, and supergluing his privates. Wow. <laughs> I can barely get three of my girlfriends to agree to go see the same movie, so that's impressive. The St. Louis Police Department has issued a no visible tattoo policy, forcing those officers who already have tattoos to cover them up with makeup. Asked how he felt about wearing the makeup, one officer stated, I don't mind the lipstick so much, but the eyeshadow makes me look like a whore. A Florida man blames his cat for jumping on his keyboard and downloading thousands of pornographic images involving children. When asked for comment, the cat said, Don't look at me. I only look at kitty porn. The police smiled and issued the playful tabby a citation for being criminally adorable. They then had the animal euthanized. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.